Okay, C. Lindelof video, just a really quick one tonight. Uh, using your TI Inspire calculator to find complex solutions. And here we're asked to find all solutions to the function x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. So here you are, Joshua. As you know, this is a minimum parabola that is where, whose vertex is one unit over the x-axis, so this doesn't have any real zeros. So I looked into this a little bit, and this is what I found out. So this is what we're going to do, if you don't mind. I'm going to go to my calculator, which is where you are anyway. So I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first way, of course, is the easiest way. Instead of putting this in as a solve function, instead of writing solve, put C solve. So you and I had talked about possibly changing the settings on your calculator. That is a possibility, but it's a real pain in the neck, and it tends to come in and out of the document settings without without reasons I can really get a grip on, so I'm sorry about that. But this way will work every time. Just make sure you put this in correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my function x squared plus 1, set it equal to 0 in this case, which we know doesn't exist. Again, put in comma 0, and then when you, oh, that's not true, comma x, right, because we want our answer in terms of x, and hit enter, and there's your solution. The other way that you could do this, which is not quicker, but it's just, it is another path that you could use, is you could go to the menu screen, you could choose algebra, go down to complex, here's complex right here, sorry, complex, solve, and all that's going to do is type it for you, and you could put in a different function, obviously, like x squared plus 5 doesn't have any real zeros, but it does have complex zeros, is equal to 0, again, comma, x, hit enter, and there you have your answer again. So you have x is equal to opposite square root 5i or x is equal to square root 5i. So hopefully this was really helpful for you. And um, thanks for bringing up the question. If you haven't already subscribed, please do your comments. You're always welcome. Thanks very much for watching, you guys. Peace. Hopefully I did this in less than two minutes.